G'day folks. Well, a few people asked to see what kind of compressor I was using when I was putting dents in that Acer monitor. Uh, this is it here. Two Danfoss SC15s, both cap start and cap run with a refrigeration high side pressure control to adjust the cutout pressure and cutout threshold. Uh, accumulators out of a Dakin R410A charged condensing unit. It's rated at some ridiculous amount of pressure. Um, not really a lot else to it. I can attach my pressure gauge there. I've also got that going to the cutout. It's fitted for the lines and fittings off the Battenfeld injection moulding machine. Uh, all of these you just tap a 3 8 BSP thread into whatever you want. And these these um, flare fitting nipples just screw straight in. Not a problem. They're really easy to work with. There's no shortage of them either so I can attach them to pretty much anything including my well, sandblaster, come engine cleaner, come air duster, come monitor assassinate, assassination tool. That's a really neat little bit of gear. I think originally it was just a sandblaster, but I've got little drop-in sleeves that you pull this off and slide a sleeve down the uh, brass outer barrel and you can do whatever you want. Right now it's just an air duster, but it can be used for engine cleaning or sandblasting as it was originally designed. If I can get a hard enough barrel sleeve, I wore out the stainless one and yeah. Don't do sandblasting with thin barrel liners, or it eats through everything. Uh, yeah, it's a really neat little bit of gear. Um, not much else to really say, I've got about 10 metres of hose for it now. All these Battenfeld um, hoses can be linked together with couplings like this one. That's a uh, male to female right angle joiner. And uh, it works really, really well. You can crank it up to about 400 PSI all day long because the SC15s are designed for R22. They will build pretty good head pressure and do it... Well, they'll, they'll have a bit of trouble at 400 PSI. You don't want to run it too long. They just get too hot. But 300 PSI, they do not mind at all. And being two of them, it takes bugger all time to get up to pressure. So... I know that's a needle valve, you don't get much flow out of it, but you'd be surprised. With that kind of pressure, you don't need that much flow, especially with the volume inside these hoses. If you're only working in short bursts, that's heaps. Um, I'm not going to fire it up just yet. I want some more work to be, want to do some more work on it. Like a, I want to get a pair of these air cleaners. That's a used Victor air cleaner, motor motor air cleaner. I'll get two brand new ones and stuff them over the intakes and put some proper wheels on it because those new old stock cheapies that I scored from work really are junk. That's why we threw a few hundred of them in the bin, they're rubbish. Um, that's about all for tonight, that's about all I've got time for. And thanks for watching. Got all kinds of fittings from that old machine. There's a bigger one. Even bigger. Yeah, hydraulic stuff is really handy. There's some small ones. It's all rated to about five, six thousand psi or so, so I'm barely even, barely even stretching its legs with this kind of stuff. This is novice level. We want a thousand psi compressor next. <laughs> then we'll be able to, I don't know, air dust or clean some TVs. <laughs> Thanks for watching.